Hello, my name is Ian Dean. Today I'm going to be talking about how Mesh Baker can combine skinned mesh objects and also customize those objects by adding um, other non skinned mesh, uh, ordinary mesh render objects. Um, so let's look at this scene. I've got uh, two uh, Goober characters and two construction worker characters. I also want to add in a hat and a sword and a uh, glasses into this scene. Um, so you can see there's the hat, the sword, and the glasses. Um, so how do we combine all these? Well, the first thing we need to do is create a mesh baker object. So create other mesh baker, a mesh and material baker. So here it is. You can see that this consists of two components. The first component is the texture baker, which combines the materials. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is create empty assets for combined material. So I pick where I want those. Um, let's put those here. Combined material. Save. Okay, so now if we look in that directory, uh, there's a combined material, which is a special mesh baker asset, and a material um, asset which is an ordinary material. So we pick the shader which we want on the result material. Uh, diffuse is good and then um, we can go back to the mesh baker object. So we've got a mesh baker result asset. We've got a combined material asset. So let's open tools for adding objects. Um, select all the objects that we want in the scene. Oh wait, we don't need that yet. So we select all these objects that we want to combine and I click add selected meshes. We look at our mesh baker again and there we've added all the game objects that have renderers on them. And now we're ready to bake materials into combined materials. So mesh baker is taking all the materials and combining it into one atlas. You can see there's the textures for the various characters. Um, so now we're ready to combine these into um, the combined mesh. So we go back to our mesh baker. Uh, we can close the texture baker. We can open the other one. Now the sword and the hat and the glasses, I actually can delete because I'm going to add those instantiate those dynamically and add them when the character is playing. Um, so. Let's have a look here. So we've got our mesh baker object. Uh, we need the combined material, which has already been set for us when we bake, did the baking. We want to uh, objects to be combined, same as texture baker. We actually don't want that because we don't want the sword and the hat and the glasses uh, baked into this yet. So let's add the objects that we want. I have to pick the game object that has the renderer on it. So there. Bake into scene object. The renderer, I want to be a skin mesh renderer, and then we bake. Now this is going to create a scene object in our scene. Um, and there it is, and it's got the four characters in it. So then I can go back to the mesh baker and I can disable renderers on combined objects. So that disabled the renders on the source objects. Um, now the final thing I need to do is uh, I've got a special script on this scene that lets us add the hat and the sword to character and I have to give it the mesh baker object that I used. There. Now we're ready to go. So I press play. So here are animated characters. The animations are still all intact. I can add the sword. I can add the hat. I can add the glasses. This is all one draw call. Stats. Uh, visible skin mesh is one. So this is a combined skin mesh. So that shows you how easy it is to combine a bunch of skin meshes and add other objects using MeshBaker. Uh, it's available in the Asset Store if you're interested.